Baby. Yeah, sorry, I'm running late. I'm on my way to work. He had a couple of things I need to take care of. I'll be with you in a jiff. I'm sorry, please, please, please. I didn't see you there. Please, I'm sorry. I was wishing I didn't even know anybody was coming to the office today, sir. Please, I'm sorry. Sir, please. Hey, God. Hey, God, God. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Jesus, sir. Jesus, sir. What's sir. your name? My name. My name, sir. Um, my name. I was washing my hands, sir. I didn't know anybody was coming. And was then that I just... a question as you said? What is your name? My name is Abigail, sir. What company you bought you? Vantage. Vantage Group. Vantage Group. Vantage Point. Shanai, Vantage Point. What in the hell were you thinking when you employed this girl who just poured that in the me right here in front of us? This is how you want to be rendering your services to me. Will you shut up? Is she. I. 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 Are you even serious to tell me this stupid thing right now? I'll take a picture of myself and send to you. The bloody cleaner you sent to me here, who left her child unattended, has just poured dirty water on me. And you're telling me that. Call her now, tell her she's fine. You are fine. I don't want to see you. Hi. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Please, sir, please forgive me. I don't want to ever see you around here anymore. Do you understand? Are you mad? No. Pack everything, brother, and leave. Please, leave. Leave right now. Shama, please, I beg. Please help me beg him. Please. Why would you do that? What were you thinking? I was aiming for the wall. I wasn't expecting anyone to pass. Even if, even if you would have thrown it directly into the gutter. God, so, so what am I going to do now? Look, the client is very upset. Very upset. And he has threatened not to use our services anymore. I had to tell him that we we're going to take some kind of disciplinary action. <gasps> Poshama. Please, please, Abigail, don't make this hard. You are my friend, and I honestly want to help you. Especially because of Sarah. Shama, okay, okay, what should I do now? Should I go and beg him? What can I do? Please. Please, don't. Don't do that. What, what am I going to do now? This is the only job that I have. Hey, Shama. Abigail, I'm very sorry. But I will have to suspend you indefinitely. <sighs> Shama, what will I do now? This is my only job. Eh? Calm down. I would try and look for something for you. You know, I know you don't have any qualifications, so I don't think we can get any high paying job for you for now, but I will look for something, okay? Stop crying. Abigail! Abigail, you better come out, oh. You better come out. Enough of this nonsense. Go the old person. This landlord. I'm coming in. Continue doing your homework, okay? Rubbish. Uh -huh. Good morning, sir. Just keep that money to yourself. Where is the money you promised to give me at the end of the month? It's already end of the month and I have not heard from you. Okay, landlord, I will pay. Something came up and that's why I'm not able to do it. See that? That's the problem with you. One problem to another. A beautiful girl doesn't deserve to be struggling the way you are struggling. You need a real man with capacity to fit in in your life and take good care of you. A big girl, I am talking to you. You need a man who will maintain you. An African queen like you. Look at, do you look at, you see now. Okay, landlord. Thank you, I'm fine. I don't need a man. And even if I needed a man, I don't need a man like you. What do you mean by that? Eh? Are you insulting me? 
I'm a full man. See, the person standing here have capacity to take care of you. Give me a chance. Okay, landlord. You have two wives and 500 concubines. Sezu, how? Is it not just uh, Mama Sokora and uh, this uh, widow woman uh, and the Leticia that used to uh, fry her uh, uh, That's enough. That's enough. That should be good enough for you. I'm okay. Uh, Thank but you. Aside that too now, uh, but the truth is that I can still create space for you to come in. I can still accommodate you inside this thing now. Please, beautiful girl, I, I am begging you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey. I, I'm sorry, I'll find a way to pay you your money. Sorry. Abigail. If, 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 come and go, all of you should get out of this place. Abigail, you, you, you pushed me down, eh? Mama, you're really enjoying today's Akara. You like it? Because you've not been liking the other Akara. Hmm? You're not just going to be sitting out here. Will you help mommy? Or? I'm just sitting out here eating akara, finishing my akara. You don't want me to sell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no. Be business there. woman. Business woman. <laughs> Shama. Yes. Uh -uh. What are you doing here? I came to see you now. You came to see me? Yes. You came to this side of town to see me? I don't believe it. Go, Jared. Sarah, <laughs> baby. I didn't even know that she was the one. She was the one. I know. <laughs> Fine girl. How are you, baby? How is school? Oh, sit down, my darling. No, mama, go inside and get me more salt. Hey, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh. She's so cute. <laughs> ha! How far now? How are you? I'm okay. Oh. Hmm. Things are not good, oh, Shama. I'm really struggling. Hmm? This this Akara business is not profitable. I'm struggling to pay my rent and I'm struggling to pay her school fees as well. I just managed to pay this month's rent. And Sarah's school is sending her home every day with a letter of payment. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry that you are going through this. Well, I may have something for you. No, ah, no, 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 no. I can't take money from you again. You've really tried for me. Please, it's Who okay. wants to give you money? <laughs> That's not it. Um, one of the reasons I came is because I need a favor from you. From me? Yes. What could that possibly be? Cleaning job. Calm down. Don't get too excited. It's a one-off and it's because I don't have anybody on ground. That's why I'm coming to you. Ah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Please, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ah. Abigail, please. This is a very important client. I don't want the repeat of what happened the last no, time. No, I to... promise. I promise I will not make that mistake again. Mm. It will not repeat itself. I promise. All right then. So, the client is throwing a birthday party on Saturday. So I should go? No. You will so... go there on Sunday morning. Okay. After I've confirmed that the client is not at home. Okay. You go there, do your cleaning, you move out. Okay, no problem. No problem. Please. I do not want the client to come and meet you in that house. You should leave there before 12. Be gone. I don't want to see you there by 12. Ah, Please. Is there a reason for the timing? Well, technically, you don't work for me. And I don't even want him to see you. Please, I'm doing this because I know you need the money and because nobody is available. Thank you. No problem. I'll do it. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. So, please, wait for my call. That's all I promise. Please. Yes, ma. Yes, okay. ma. Yes, ma. So, I'll do it. Mm, I, I will do it and I will do it very well. Do a clean job. I will. Do a clean job, I Abigail. I will. I will. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You are grateful. Give yes. me a car to show ah. your appreciation. Ah, ah. I will give smart. you a car. I don't want to smoke You don't know how to buy it. You are supposed to be giving me a car <laughs> now. I will give you a car. I don't let me take back my job. <laughs> I'll give you a car. Hey, that what? one. That big one. This that big one. one. That big one. Ah. Yeah. Let me take that one. Yeah, do you know what you are? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. If I buy the whole market, mm. okay, this is nice. Hold well, well on, hold well on. Come back, well, yeah. okay. I'm in. Thank you. Hold on now. Hello, Shama. Yes, we're here now. Um. Okay. Um. But where's the key? Oh. Okay, I found it. 
Yes, yes, I've heard. Don't worry, we'll leave before he gets back. so big. Sarah, sit down. Sit down here. And read your book. Take. For you. <sighs> See, Sarah, sit down here. Don't touch anything until I'm done, okay? Okay? What is it? I'm gonna go and play outside. So I can sit down, please. Is there anything to eat? Sarah, so we will eat when you get home, please. Can I watch TV? Do not make me repeat myself. Go and sit down. What are you doing here all by yourself? Where's your mother? She's inside. She's inside? Come with me. All right. Come on in. Where's your mom? Sir. You? What is it you're doing here? Sir, I, I, I... What did I tell you the last time I saw you? This, that, 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 you, you don't want to see me what again. What did I say to you the last time I saw you? That you don't want to see me again, sir. So what are you doing here? Sir, I swear. I swear if I knew this was your house, sir, I wouldn't have come. Will you stop that disgusting? Putting your finger on your tongue after cleaning the house. Sir, nothing. You didn't do anything, sir. Are you God? No, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sir. Hard enough. Pack your things and leave.
He's just a mere sight of you brings back the memory of that dirty soap. You water in my mouth. I can't. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how to throw that suit away? I, 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 because it was too disgusting to take it to the laundry. Sir, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm short of one suit. Will you forgive my mommy? Sir, please. And if you want, I can buy you a new suit, sir. <laughs> oh. You want to buy me a new suit? Sir, sir. Um, sir, how much is it? 500,000 naira. Ah! Oh, sir. Sir, please, please, I don't have that kind of money. Sir, I barely make enough money to pay our school fees or even pay our house rent, sir, please. Well, I wasn't the one who said I was going to buy this suit. You said you were going to buy this suit. Sir, please, I'm sorry, please. Please, you can, um, I can work for you for free until, until I can make the money, sir. Get up and leave. Sir. Have you cleaned everyone in the house? Yes, I've cleaned everywhere. Everywhere. So I'm going to send the money to your madam. She's going to give you the money. You don't have to come back. Sir. Sir, please, I promise. Sir, what is this? Um, the rug from the kitchen. So put it in the place. Okay, sir, sir. Please, please, I promise you like me, sir. Please, I won't disappoint you. Please, Enough. sir. Take that with you. Mama, take this inside, then come back for this one, okay? Well done, my darling. Oh. Shama, I'm not happy with you. Why would you send me to that man's house? Please, Abigail, I'm sorry. There was no one on ground, and I knew if I told you it was him, you wouldn't have gone. So you deceived me. Do you know how angry that man was when he came back and saw me in his house? Do you know how I had to beg for you? He was never going to work with you again. Have you checked your phone? For what? Alert. Have you checked? Check. Alert. Check. Ah. Jesus. Hundred mm. K. Mm -hmm. But but this is double of what you regularly pay me. I know. My darling, I don't know what you said to him, I don't know what you did to him, but he paid more than required and he asked that I give you the bonus. What? Why? I don't know. I don't know what you did to him. I should be asking you that. But as from today, consider yourself rehired. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank no, you. No, 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 stop. Get up. <sighs> thank you, God bless you. God mm. bless you. I'm not the only one, my darling. Okay. God bless that man. God will bless him. I'm so grateful. Amen. Amen. <sighs> but, but, but what? There's something I have to tell you. Oh, God, Abigail, what have you done this time? I told him that he doesn't have to pay me again until I can compensate him for the suit that I ruined. Are you joking? How can you make such commitment without consulting me? Ha, huh, Shama. You should have seen that man that day. He was so mm. angry. Mm. My darling, that's not my business. Whatever do you have with him, that's your business. But me, I would always collect my management fee anytime you do any work for him. It's fine, I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it's my turn because you want to <laughs> She a big girl leave her house open like this. Hmm? Oga okay, landlord, what did they do? A big girl, you know they sell a crown of puff again. I don't resume work. Eh? Yeah. Ah, thank God though. Now him be say you go quick pay me. You know say your rent don't they do? Oga okay, landlord, I don't hear. I go quick pay you this month. Good morning. My darling, how are you? Fine. How was school? Fine. Uh, Small picking, welcome. And I say, make I come check how you did do. I see, say you did fine. I don't do good. Come, darling. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> come. 
Did any teacher disturb you in school today? No. We are changed fast. Mommy has many, many jobs to do today. I have to change, change, change. Oh, baby. It's cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain soon. Let me call this person. Hello, good evening. Yes, please, can you help me close my window so that rain doesn't enter into my room? Oh, sorry, no, I'm not asking you to walk under the rain. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, sorry. Sorry. And why are you still here? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Um, we're just finishing up cleaning, sir. Yeah. Listen, you're the daughter. I don't expect you to stay late hours after work. Immediately it's five o'clock, I expect you to leave. Okay, sir. Okay. Where do you stay? Ah, uh, sir, I don't know if you know Jambo. It's really far. I stay f Do you know do you know there's a storm on the wind starting from Jambo? It's, it's already raining there very heavy. Yes, sir. So why do you wanna I have to take it to your house? Oh no, sir, please no. I don't want to bother you, sir. It's very far. What is leave. bothering me right now is the fact that I'm leaving the office and you are still here. That is what bothers me. Hey, I'm taking you home. Follow me. Are you, are you hearing this? Yes, sir. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to turn around. Uh, turn around to where, sir? They said the road is blocked. So we, we got have access to your area. So we probably just have to find another option. Uh, another option? Maybe my place is safer. Oh. Uh, you can't take the risk with your daughter, eh? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's beginning to drizzle. Over the clouds. Oh, you guys are going to go to the guest room and tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll drop you off, okay? Oh, no, sir, it's fine. We can just stay here on the couch. The couch is not meant for sleeping. The couch is meant for guests. So you go to the guest room. So this is going to be your room. I want you to feel at home, feel comfortable. Anything you need, you let me know. Okay, sir. All right, I'll get you some change of clothes. Fill this up. I'll be back. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Mommy, are we staying here? Just for the night, my love. And then we'll go home tomorrow, okay? Okay. How about a quick shower and then we go straight to bed? Okay. Okay? All right, let's go. Shower time. Be careful, okay? Everything in Mr. Daniel's house is big. I wish I could stay here forever. Baby, mommy is working very hard so that one day we could live in a nice place like this, okay? Really? Big like Mr. Daniel's house, just you and me. By God's grace. Mommy, are you crying? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I just got soap in my eyes, that's all. I right, hurry up and rinse your body so that we can go to bed, okay? Okay. Good morning, sir. I made breakfast. 
Well, I can see that, but you didn't have to. Sir, it's just our way of showing gratitude for last night. You don't have to. Besides, I don't even eat breakfast. Sir, please, you can just try it. Where is your daughter? She's upstairs. I want to go get her now so we can leave. Okay. Are you ready? There has been flooding reported in different parts of the city following the rainstorm yesterday. A few residents have had to vacate their homes. Some have been declared missing. Ojodubega, Ikosiketu, Bagada, Ikorudu, and other parts of Lagos have all been affected. The government is, however, Everything? Uh, yes, I'm coming home today, sir. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, my God. Who was that? Um, my, my landlord. And is everything okay? Our area is... Um, there's, there, there's no way you're going back home, look. People are missing. This is definitely not an environment you want to be with your daughter. Especially at her age. Too dangerous. The government is doing nothing about that. Don't go back here, please. For the sake of your daughter, don't go back here. Sir? Please, can I talk to you? You want to get something to eat? Come on. Yes. Sir, please, can I talk to you over there? That environment that you're talking about is where Sarah and I have lived for years. And we're fine. Well, but you know exactly what I was talking about. Yes. I understand that you're privileged, but please don't look down on me and my daughter. I was only stating the obvious. I just don't want Sarah to have funny ideas about a life that I cannot provide. How do you think that will make her feel? How do you think that makes me feel? Well, you have a good point. For the sake of a child, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that in front of her. But hey, anyhow, uh, I want to help. We don't need help, sir. We're fine. We're okay. No, you're not. You do need help. And I'm willing to help. If you didn't see us yesterday, you wouldn't have thought about us. Well, I did see you last night, so now I'm involved. And I cannot just walk away like, pretend like nothing is happening. You're with a child. Well, maybe if you were alone, I wouldn't have bothered that much. Because you're a grown woman, you can take care of yourself. But your situation is a bit different. One way or the other, I'd like to help. I can't pretend to have a blind eye to all of this whilst you're here with me in my house. No. 
How can you help, sir? All right, I'm going to give you a proposal. I'm going to employ you as a staff so you're going to live in this house. No. No, we can't stay here. You've already been here one night. But was it uncomfortable? Did I make you uncomfortable? So what is your problem? All right. Hear me out. I'm going to employ you. You're going to do what you do. Do best. It's unfortunate the boy's quarters is occupied with a gate guy. Else I would have given you the place. But for now, you can use a guest room. So I'm going to employ you as a staff. You're going to live in this house, and I'm going to pay 200000 a month. But it's probably not too much for now. So you can have time to save some money and then find your place. 200000 Naira. Thank you, sir. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everything concerning you. It's okay. Stand up. Thank you so much, sir. I'm grateful. I'm doing all this because of your daughter. Thank you, sir. She's grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you. Fine. So, um, if you agree, start doing what you have to do. Yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll start. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I enjoy your mother's meal. Don't stuff your mouth too much, you choke. Okay? What is that? Your mother cooks very well. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello, how are you? Mm. Sir, let me help you with this. That's fine, I'm already going upstairs. Okay, I made dinner. You should eat. Smells really good. Thank you. Alright. Let me get your food. I'm gonna pass the tray. So what are you doing your homework? Can I see? Just one hard question. One hard question. <laughs> Dio Jota. So this is very easy. Um, sir. She can do it by herself. They taught her in school. You can do it by yourself. All right, try. <coughs> we have done this. This smells really good. Thank you. I'm about to say, don't let the smells fool you. <laughs> you always have to taste the food first. My mommy is a very great cook. I can see that. <laughs> Are you going to learn how to cook like her? Yes. Okay. Mama, go put your books away. Come and eat and I'll help you with your homework later. Okay? Okay, mommy.
Sir, I... Oops. I'm sorry, it's just the tone you used. It looks like you're gonna interrogate me again. Sorry? Sir, can I count you on the side? <laughs> Are you enjoying the food? Honestly, it's very, very good. Hey, bro. I'm fine. Sorry, I'm a little stressed. Uh, brief, very quick one. I, 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 I need your help. I, I need uh, clothes. I uh, knew it. I need clothes. Clothes for a woman and a child. Anytime you call for me like this, there's always something. But what woman and child? Oh, it's just a, a woman that works for me. Danny. With a little girl, yeah. Works for you. Okay. Yeah, she, she works for me. <laughs> well, you know, I don't ask questions when you ask me to do something for you. But this time around, I need full details. Like her age, her body size, and that of the child. Well, that's a very good question. I have no idea how old she is, but her daughter is between six and eight. The woman is slightly thicker than you are, and she's shorter. Not slightly. She's thick. Since you've made me your personal stylist, I think I can work with that. Okay, that's good. Um, but I need this a ASAP, like now. Because they, they need these clothes to wear, and then just let me know how much to get there. Hmm. But how about you pay with lunch? Lunch? Yes, lunch. We want lunch right now? Now. You work too much. Maybe that's a good idea. I'm a little stressed. I need it. Come on, let's go. When you're ready. Let's go, Brie, let's go. <laughs> all right. I'm about to spend all your money. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I love your touch. Oh, what, what is going on here? What, what, what is this? Why? What, what is this? You don't pick your clothes and call, call, call. Why? Why? Why are you coming home so late? Sorry, sir. Um, sir, go upstairs. <sighs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I overreact. I was just a little worried, that's all. Look. I, I had a late job. That's why. Yeah. Exactly my point. I mean, she closed school a long time ago. You better bring her home this late. Hey, it's, it's not nice. Really bad for the girl. Maybe you should quit the job. Sir, I travel a far distance to Sarah's school, finish my cleaning, and I still come back here. I don't think I can change jobs right now, and I also don't think I can get a babysitter. If you don't mind, sir, please, I'd like to be excused.
Good morning, sir. Where's your mother? She said she has a headache. Should I go and wake her up for you? She has a headache? Yes. So she's asleep? Yes. No. Don't wake her up. Leave her to sleep, okay? Okay. I got this for you yesterday for you and your mom, but I couldn't give it to you. Do you like it? It's okay. Just okay. It's nice. Just nice. It's amazing. It's a Sarah, I told you not to leave the room. Sorry, mommy. It's okay. Let her be free. She's, she's home. Take these upstairs. Okay. the gifts are, but we already have everything that we need. No, you don't already have everything you need. And as you said, they're gifts. Gifts are presents. You present presents and the receiver receives them. Thank you. But if it made you feel in a certain way, I'm sorry. I just thought, no, you know. No, it's, it's fine. I'm very grateful for everything that you do for us. Thank you. I've actually been thinking. Thinking? About? Your daughter. Maybe we have to move her to a school close by the house. What? I've already made some calls. You don't need to bother about the fees. I'll handle that. So what, what about her studies, her friends? These primary schools have, you know, transfers they do. She'll be fine. They can't jump with her. Because of her age, is nothing serious. She'll be fine. And she'll make new friends. She'll catch up in new schools. Mm. I, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Not just, not just that. There was actually two things. Sarah moving to us, close by school, and uh, you finding a job that won't require you to come home very late and on weekends. So at least you can spend more time with her. Again, thank you, sir, but I don't think it's the best idea. Also, what job is out there for a school dropout? What did you study? Business admin. But I can't go back to school for four years and then still take care of Sarah. It's not possible. Listen. You're a very smart woman. You speak very well. You express yourself very well. The kind of job you do doesn't really match how you present yourself. I think you can quickly get a diploma. Things are different now. Social media, marketing. You don't need to do the four-year course. Find new strategies. You get a footing in society. Pick it up from there. Mr. Daniel, thank you. 
I know you're a very ambitious man, but I can't do it. Listen to me. I'm not doing all of this think, thinking I want something in return. I don't want anything in return. Just doing it for you. Tell me what you want. I'll pay for it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. And you will. What do you mean you can't? What are you scared of change? I'm gonna make sure this happens. With or without your help. I'm sorry, I... It's just in my nature, I just can't walk past people in need. We're gonna make this work. Yes, Mama, I'm coming to your school today. I'm dropping you off. Are you coming for the parents' meeting? Oh. <sighs> the parent-teacher meeting is today. I'm so sorry, my love. I can't make it today. Mommy is very busy today. Then I'll ask Mr. Daniel. Sir, you will do no such thing. Do you I hear me? Busy! And that means I'll reschedule with your teachers. Have you heard? Okay. Let's go. Sarah, we're almost at your school now. So, Mommy, you're not coming for the meeting today. What meeting is that? It's a parents' teacher meeting, but. I told her that I will reschedule with her teachers. So you're not going? Until I am a full-time student and I fully quit my cleaning job, I barely have enough time. All right, so why don't I represent? Uh, it's fine, it's really not that important. It's not that serious, I'll just reschedule. Oh, but I actually signed in as her guardian. So it only makes sense if I... If you're not there, I can actually represent you. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't want people to have other ideas. Don't be worried about people and ideas, Abigail. Do you want me to come? Yes. So I'll be there to meet. Okay. Word. In all honesty, seriously, you are going to send that girl to an expensive private school and then pay for the mother's diploma from your company fund. Bree, because I am I'm treating this as a business benefit. Business benefit? And is the tax relief really worth it? If this girl does well in school, I can employ her. Hmm. But I'm yet to meet this mother and daughter that you are so invested in. You know, Bree, there are certain people in life who just need a little push. Once you give them that support, they go straight to the top. Hmm. And I believe there's a typical example. Good Samaritan. You know, the other day I, I was at a parent-teacher meeting in high school. You? Daniel! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh wow. <laughs> so what's the occasion? Well, someone in my class said they wanted cake. So here I am. I made them some cupcakes. So are they paying for it? Well, initially it was supposed to be free, but he insisted on paying, so. He? Yes, he. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh. I'm just hoping there'll be some left for those at home to try. Oh yes, there's more than enough. This is extra. You can try. It is extra? Yes. I uh, haven't washed my hands. Oh, that's fine. Just my hands are clean. You can just take a bite. Say ah. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> ah. What? Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is heavenly. Heavenly. Heaven. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, don't you think? That's a compliment. And what you have to say is, oh, thank you. Hmm, okay. Oh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> no, this is really good. How much is it for one? Uh, can you... I wonder? Yes, you can. There you go. <laughs> Since you want to stop this in your mouth, <laughs> I don't even wash my hands. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Hey, I always hated who makes it. I should have got your puzzle. You want to take this to school? Yeah. You think it's allowed? And your teacher doesn't see that? No. And she said her daddy is going to take her to America. For holidays? Alright, but don't let that bother you, okay? All my classmates think you are my daddy, but they don't know my daddy is dead. He died when I was not born. <sighs> Why don't we go and eat some um, ice cream? Can we? But you have to ask mommy first. Okay. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. You're welcome, baby. Now straight to bed and say good night to Mr. Daniel. Good night, Mr. Daniel. Have a good night. Straight to bed. Okay. Is that right? I'm going to help you with that. No, no, it's fine. I can... Well, don't you think I've now earned the right to be called by my first name? We're friends. But before that, uh, I want to ask you something. Oh, is something wrong? Uh, no. Promise me you're not going to get pissed off. No, why would I? Go ahead. Sarah said her dad died before she was born. What? Why would she? We were just seated here just telling me stories about school and how some of the students think I'm her dad. Is that what she told them? You said you were not going to get angry. But that's a lie. She lied. I don't know why she would say that kind of thing to you and she didn't even tell me. She lied that what? Her dad isn't dead.
Her dad is alive? Yes, Sarah's dad is alive. So, where is he? I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him since I told him I was pregnant. Wait, so is that why you dropped out of school? Final year student meets freshman. I thought I was in love. And I thought he loved me too. But before he graduated, I told him I was pregnant. And after the ceremony, I didn't see him again. So how about your family? My father disowned me. He told me to pack my things and leave his house. So I moved to the city. But I was all by myself. I'm really, really sorry to hear that. You don't have to feel sorry for me. I brought these actions upon myself. I regret a lot of things in life, but... When I look at Sarah, I... I don't want her to suffer for my mistakes. She won't. Sarah is very intelligent. She's an amazing young girl. She won't. It's okay. Don't cry. You know, I actually do know what it feels like not to have a father. He passed when I was four years old and um, my mom when I was eight, 18. She went the lengths and breaths just to make me a better person. She literally killed herself. Huh? She must have been a really strong woman. Very strong woman. There were days where we went homeless. Like there was nowhere to sleep. And whoever she went to for help, turned her down. I actually went through that experience. So seeing you and your daughter, I just could walk past. And we're extremely grateful to you for that. I actually vowed that I'll never let any woman go through that. What do you mean? I had this mindset that if I get married, if you really don't know how you're going to wind up, how it's going to end. Hmm. That's not a good way to look at life. I know, but my perspective has changed. I mean, looking at your daughter, observing you. I have a completely different perspective now. I've sort of gotten fond of you guys. I kind of like you and your daughter. That is... Stepping too forward, I know I, I, I'm not... Look, I don't want it to come across as if I'm taking advantage of you or... That's just not who I am, okay? I'm not taking advantage of anything. I just want you to know that I can actually picture myself getting married and having children, which I never used to in my nature even think about. So, you just want to get married to a good woman, then have many children? Now, yes. Uh, <clears throat> I never used to be like that. That's good. Mm, that's good? Well, I, I, I think so too. Good night, sir. Oh. 
<laughs> Just like that? Who is knocking on this door like that? I'm coming! Who are you? Sorry, Ma. Who are you looking for? I'm here to see Daniel. Okay, Ma. He's upstairs. Let me go get him for you. Okay. Sorry. Do you by chance have a daughter? Yes, Ma. I do. Okay. You must be the charity project, I guess. Excuse me? Brie! Hey, you. Hi, Brie. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> what are you doing here, Brie? You didn't call yeah. before you came. <laughs> you look so nice. Thank you. Meet I... Abigail. Abigail, this is Brie. Brie's like my sister. Welcome, ma. Look at you. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> are you all dressed? Are you want something to drink? Of course, yes. A very cold water. All right, go get it. This is your house. Feel free. Ah. Isn't she your maid? Abigail. Sort of. So, why should I be the one getting the water? Oh, Brie, don't start. This is your house. But what is a big deal if you get that water yourself? I am only trying to understand the dynamics of things here. She's your maid, isn't she? Well. Danny, what are you not telling me? No, what do you mean? You should be settling down with your wife and your kid now. And any woman that sees you and this, they'll think you're in some kind of situation. Pre last time I checked, you and I were the same age. And you're not married as well. What's the difference? I am waiting for the right guy. There is no such thing as the right guy. So stop it. Danny, Danny. Pre drop it. I'll get you the water myself. <laughs> Sarah must be enjoying her new school now, eh? Madam. Uh, what are you thinking about? Why is your face like that? I'm just thinking about how Sarah and I need to move out from that place. Did he ask you to leave? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. Then why? You don't... You don't like Mr. Daniel anymore. That's actually the problem. I think we're getting too used to him being around. Wow, you have a very big problem. Very big problem. Shama, it is a big problem. See? Because I don't want us to be taken by surprise when he finally decides that he's tired of us. <laughs> This girl, the way you're sounding, eh, it's like... Sounding like what? Mm? What do you mean? I'm only thinking about Sarah. Mm. I know, but are you sure you are thinking about Sarah? Abby, you're concerned about your feelings for Mr. Daniel. Shama, mm. what kind of nonsense talk is this? Ah, calm down. There is nothing wrong for you, you know, to have feelings for Mr. Daniel. I mean, he's handsome, he's rich and caring. I don't have feelings for him. So please stop this talk. I should stop? Yes. No, you will stop. Stop pretending. You better figure out what is wrong with you. Figure out your feelings so that you know if you want to pursue it or not. The only thing I'm pursuing is this degree. My darling, degree is good, but everyone needs love. I mean, you would want love someday. And I will find it. Mm, but know. just know it. See, mm. just... Let's leave this talk. Let's mm. talk about something else, please. I agree. Um, please. Oh, let's talk about Mr. Da. Oh, sorry. Shama. <laughs> I'm joking. But You're I'm funny. But I mean, Mr. Daniel is a male. Shama, like stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh. 
All right, here we are. Are you not coming inside? Oh, Bri, I can't. I already promised the little girl I was going to take her to the movies. Seriously? What are you doing? So you can see my face when I talk to you. Bri, what is the problem? I already told the little girl I, I promised I was going to take her to see a film. Bri, I was with you practically the whole day. We went for breakfast, we went to the mall, we went to the art gallery. I was with you practically the whole day. I just promised this little girl I'll take her to watch a movie in the evening and I'm, I'm already late. So now I am stressing you. I have become a burden to you. Daniel, you are a single guy living with a mother and a daughter. You got them gifts, you, you paid for their school fees, and now you're taking them out? Isn't that doing too much? Brie, will you stop? I will do the same thing for anybody else. I will even do it for you if you were in that situation. Bid. I will never be a charity project. Will you stop calling them that? They are just in a situation right now. They are going to get out of it soon. And where will they leave your house? When? Tell me. Brie, you have to go home now. I have to go, please. Daniel. Brie, please. I have to go. Have you ever shown love to someone? Have you ever tell a story you don't know? Now you try to pin a line, you're so blind. Oh, Abigail, I am so sorry. Where's Sarah? She fell asleep, waiting for you. Well, but I think... You want to wake her up? No, it's too late. I thought I could make it on time, so even... I would have been way earlier if I didn't go to Bree's place. And Bree wasted my entire time thinking... It's okay. You don't have to explain yourself. I promise I'm going to make it up tomorrow. Tomorrow? What if tomorrow doesn't go as planned? Then what? You're the only man that has ever been present and made promises to Sarah. I don't want to hurt her feelings. I have to protect her. You have to protect her from me? No. I have to protect her feelings. I don't want her to get too attached and see you more than she ought to. Like a father. That's what you mean. We've already had this conversation. What if one day you wake up and decide you don't want us here anymore? Then what? What are you talking about, Abigail? How can I do that? Well. Yes, it happened before, but that was a completely different situation, okay? Things are completely different now. Nothing is different. The only thing that is different is that we live here now. But that was the proposal, that I live and work here as your domestic staff. And even domestic staff have privileges. Please. Let me make it up to both of you tomorrow. Okay.
what's up? How are you doing? I'm fine too. Where are you? I'm fine too. Where are you? Out? And there's no one at home? Oh, yeah, hold on. Come in. Oh, found it. I'm fine. Make sure you get something for me on your way back. Don't, don't even try it. All right, see you soon. Why do you say you are again? Okay. Be careful, bring the pack ah! Why would you barge in like that? Ma, ma I, I didn't know anybody was in here, I'm sorry. Is this how you leave barge into Dana's bedroom? No, ma, sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Hurry up with your food. Okay. My friend Brie was supposed to pass by and drop me a gift. Did you see her? She's in her room. Sir, that's none of our business. Brie is in my room? What is she doing there? You should ask your friend. But she was just supposed to drop off the gift. I 
think she's the present. Richard, give me time. Give me. What? Bray. Um, took you long enough. Why did you get back so late? Bri, what in the Lord's name are you doing? I mean, it's not like I'm naked. It's just a long journey. Why are you dressed like this in my house? Are you here to rain fire and brimstone? Bri, what are you doing? Is it bad to try something different to get your attention? 20 years. For 20 years I have loved you and you didn't even notice. Oh my God, Bri. Bri, you're demon possessed. Bri, you're possessed. Bri, you need help. Don't worry. I'm gonna help you. What are you saying? I know exactly what to call. Don't be naive, Daniel. I have hesitated to cross the best friend's line. I love you. And I am not going to sit idly and watch another woman take you away from me. It's not going to happen. Oh my God. Never. I get it now, Bree. Bree, I love you too. But I love you like a sister. Stop it! Just stop it! If you know you're going to say nonsense, just leave. Bree, I'm, I'm in love with Abigail. I just, I knew it. I knew it, I said it! I'm in love with both of them. But she's not even your child. But that doesn't matter. I can still make him a child. You know what, Daniel? <laughs> leave. But Bri. Just leave. Bri, listen to me. Daniel, get out.
you going? Yes, very soon. I don't want to go. I like it here. I like Mr. Daniel. My love, it's time for bed. Go and take a shower and don't pour water on the floor, okay? Okay. Sometimes I feel it's all over. Holding your hands gives me the strength. Look in your eyes, you made my day. I love. Hello, Shama. Babes, how far now? I saw your message. Girl, I'm sure everything is just one big misunderstanding. Misunderstanding or not? I know my place. Happy girl, no vex, so... Eh? I know you really like Mr. Daniel. That doesn't even matter. That doesn't matter anymore. I just want to move out. Don't be blinded by your feelings, eh? Crying eyes did a see road ahead clearly. So you expect me to just act like nothing happened? That stupid flood. My dear, thank God for the flood. You practically lost everything. But still, you have a roof over your head. You have a job. You're on your way to getting a degree and Sarah is still going to school. As far as I see it, everything worked out for your good. But nothing. Block him out of your mind. Set boundaries if you have to. Just focus on your focus, baby girl. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just miss you. I miss you too, Bri. Do you really not love me? But, Bri, you know that I love you. It's just... It's fine. Whatever I mean, I've accepted my fate. Are you going to be okay? Of course. As long as I don't have to wear a suit to your wedding. My wedding? What wedding? You and Abigail's. We're not even on talking terms. Is she still mad? Of course she's still mad. I don't know. She just completely drew a line. Separated herself. That's why I'm your best friend. I'll do something about it. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Tell me. Don't worry. I missed you. Please. Coming. Hi, how are you? Mr. Daniel is not around. I know. But I'm not here to see Daniel. I am here to ask for your forgiveness. I'm okay, Ma. I'll just... I'm okay. You know you can call me Pri, right? And like I said, I'm here to apologize to you. Ma, it's fine. 
You can do whatever you want. It's your business. Daniel is my friend. And he loves you. Me? No. No. It does. I was just being reckless. But what do you really feel for him? I don't feel anything for him, Ma. I just work for him and he helps me and my daughter out. That's all. You know you can be completely honest with me, right? Do you like him? No. Okay. I hope one day you can forgive me for everything I did. And we can be friends. Oh, please, give Daniel a chance. Thank you, ma. I'll take my leave now. Daniel? <laughs> I, was, I was just craving some cake. <laughs> so why didn't you turn on the lights? Oh. You know, as the saying goes, food eaten in secret is the sweetest. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Uh, well, they didn't teach you that in school. <laughs> no. <laughs> What are you doing here this time? Oh, um, I came to get some water. Yeah. But I also wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Sarah and I. We're really grateful. But why do you sound like you're leaving? Because I think it's time for us to leave. Oh, come on, Abigail. That was the contract. Yeah. The contract said you work here, you live here. So. Yes, and I'll still work here. I'll just be going and coming. If this is about Bree, you've got it wrong. Bree is an old, old, old friend of mine. I have no feelings whatsoever for Bree. I can assure you that. Bree is like my sister. I can't even begin to imagine it. She, she's not the one I have feelings for. Mr. Daniel taking me to the park. Well, two of you have been hanging out a lot lately. 
<laughs> well, if it's nothing you should worry about, just don't save hands. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> You're done? Yes, I have to deliver this to a client. <clears throat> Male or female? Someone on Facebook ordered this. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. Can we? <laughs> yes, you can. Take care. When we stay. Ah, uh, Mama, you will say bye to Mommy. Bye, Mommy. Bye. Take care. Feel the lovely weather. Uh -huh. Say sweet words to one another. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm actually outside your gate. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm outside your gate. Oh. 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 Okay, but you'd have to pay for delivery for a second time. Okay. Bye. Hold you closer and never let you go. No matter what they say, I want you. No I'm sorry! I want you. <laughs> so, what's happening? Tell us, are you surprised enough? I don't know what's happening. What's happening? I'm here to propose to the most beautiful, most selfless, hardworking, most beautiful beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> From the very first day we met was nothing short of turn. But if you ask me today to go back to change anything, I wouldn't change a thing. Because I realized that um, if you hadn't poured that water on me, there was no way of continuing. I don't want to waste anyone's time right before you and your daughter. Abigail, will you marry me? Mommy, say yes! You can say yes! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, who's responsible for causing us to fake up the man? Your darling. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You made me bake my own proposal cake. Well, you made the best cake in the world. What do you want me to do? You want me to go somewhere else again? Trash that cake. <laughs> the best cake in the world. You better do it for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> Check somewhere. 